Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the partition array for maximum sum problem. Let's first see the statement. Given an integer array a, you partition the array into continuous subarrays of length at most k. After partitioning, each subarray has their values changed to become the maximum value of that subarray. Return the largest sum of the given array after partitioning. Let's first see the example one. If the input is array A, 1, 15, 7, 9, 2, 5, 10, and the case 3, we can change that array into 15, 15, 15, 9, 10, 10, 10. You should notice that each subarray has their, uh, each subarray can be at most length of k. Now that we can partition this array into at most k subarrays, this k means that subarray has, uh, has the largest length of k. So how to solve this problem? Because this problem has an optimal um, feature, like we need to return the largest sum. So we can we may think about using dynamic programming. But uh, whether this uh, this problem has a um, overlapping sub problem, let's first see if we want to get the largest sum ending ended in the index uh, like uh, this place because this k is three, so we can we may get that uh, largest sum by get the largest sum and ended in this place then plus 10 or the largest sum ended at this place plus 10 times 2 or we can get the largest sum by the largest sum ended here plus 3 times 10 what does that mean? which means if we want to get uh, the largest sum ended in index i, we can try to get that largest sum by compare the largest sum ended in index j plus um, the max value times the size of the subarray. Because k is 3, so the subarray can be length of 1, 2, or 3. And uh, every time we use the length times the max value in that subarray. subarray. So this place, um, if like is j, uh, i minus 1 plus that a i times 1, or the largest sum ended in index i minus 2 plus the max a i a i minus 1 times 2 so so on so forth so this have some um, relation between the previous sub problems so we can use dynamic programming we keep uh, calculate this place so we can just a new uh, array named the DP array. The size just be the size of this uh, array. And the uh, DPI means the largest sum ended in index i. So our solution is we use dynamic programming and uh, we use this DP array. Uh, and first we will initialize this DP array. Because we may use this part, like this is dpi minus j. So in case to make sure dpi minus uh, i minus j is valid, we will first uh, initial uh, like uh, zero to k, and then compute uh, that dp from k to um, n minus one. 
Uh, this actually is k minus one. K minus one. So, uh, we separate the solution into two parts. Okay, so let's solve it. First, we will get the length of this a array, and we will need a uh, dp, and the size should be n. And you should know dp zero just equal to a zero, because if a is one, we do not need to do the following part. Because dp0 is just a0. And then we will initialize that. I start from 1, i less than k, i plus plus. And we will get the max. Max should there be at least a0. And every time we update this max, that will be max max and ai. And the dpi will just be. Mass, uh, max times the size of this subarray. The size of this subarray should be i plus 1. Why? Because if i equal to 1, like 0, 1, the size of the subarray is 2, so we should plus 1. And then this is the main part. i start from k, i less than n i plus plus. And then we will get the subarray max. It at least will be a i. Then we will, uh, like get the subarray size. The subarray size should at least be one, and then subarray size should less or equal than k. The subarray size plus plus mm, subarray size, and then we will do the same thing. We will update the subarray max every time. That will be subarray max and a. I is like the end index for the subarray. And uh, now we also know the subarray size. So we need to get the start index. That will be i minus subarray size plus 1. Every time we update the dpi, that will be mass max dpi. Or we get the previous uh, result that will be i minus subarray um, subarray size plus this subarray this subarray use subarray max times this subarray size. Um, so finally, we just return dpn minus one. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.